Hey guys, so I've had quite a few requests for a video about breadcrumbs in Shopify and how to actually get some proper Amazon style multi-level breadcrumbs like this. And I was hesitating for a while because I didn't have a good solution. The answer I would give was basically you need a developer to custom build this for you. But now I finally have a solution. I've built this section that you can power with meta fields and you can basically have whatever you want, any type of breadcrumbs you want on any product page, you have full manual control. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to use this and also explaining kind of the background and the problems with breadcrumbs in Shopify previously, you know, the default breadcrumbs, they're not very SEO friendly and they're not very user friendly and modern themes, if you're using Dawn or any of the free themes, they actually don't have breadcrumbs at all. So I'll explain the context, background of that situation, and then I'll show you how to use this. And I wanna tell you right away that this section is not free. It's one of the custom Shopify sections that I sell on my Gumroad store for just $30, which is much more affordable than if you were to hire a developer to build this for you. And also you avoid the monthly subscription of Shopify apps. Okay, so right now in 2024, you're in one of three situations. Your theme either doesn't have breadcrumbs at all, or it's using a very basic breadcrumb with just one level like this, which isn't very useful, or you're using an older theme that has the classic Shopify breadcrumbs that reflect the collection aware URL. Now, if you don't know what a collection aware URL is, then it's this. When I visit these gloves by going through the Muay Thai collection, clicking on these gloves, it's gonna show me a breadcrumb with Muay Thai gloves and we're gonna see that in the URL. So slash collections slash the collection title slash products slash the product title. That's what's called a collection aware URL and most older themes used to work this way and many still do. So if I go through 10 ounce gloves and these same gloves but the URL is gonna be different and the breadcrumb is gonna be different as well because they are linked. The breadcrumb basically works by reading the URL. That's an oversimplification, but they're in sync. Okay, when I go through 12 ounce gloves, it's the same. And this creates a problem because we have many duplicate versions of the same page. We have the same product page, right? But it's accessible through multiple different URLs. And there is also something called a canonical URL. This is the real official URL of this product. And we can access that by simply removing that part, collections slash collection title. If we remove that, we have the actual product page. But because this doesn't have a collection in the URL, it kind of breaks our breadcrumbs, doesn't it? I mean, it doesn't break them, but they become useless. We just have a link to home. We don't have any collection here. So that's always been the problem with breadcrumbs and also collection aware URLs in Shopify, both of these things are not very SEO friendly. Because first of all, when we go through like this, it's saying that this product belongs to the Muay Thai gloves collection. Google can read these breadcrumbs and that's what it's gonna understand. So that this product belongs to this collection. If we go through a different collection, it's gonna think that this product belongs to this collection. Right? It's kind of conflicting information for Google. The other thing is that with so many variations of URLs for the same product, it's also confusing Google in the sense that Google operates on URLs. Google thinks that a URL is a page. And we have these five or six alternate URLs on this particular store for the same product page. All these different URLs have the same kind of content. So Google kind of understands that they must be some sort of duplicates. It's not exactly sure which one it should index and it needs to do some extra thinking to figure that out. We do have the canonical tags, which help. This points to the canonical tag, no matter which page you are on. And if that's working correctly, then Google should index the correct page, the canonical page but that's not always the case. I've actually seen Google Search Console for some Shopify stores where it's been ignoring the canonical. So in other words, the best thing for Google is to use these canonical URLs. And that's actually what modern themes have started doing. So you'll notice that when I go on a product using Dawn, it's just gonna use the canonical URL. It's not showing collections slash men's, is it? When I just went through men's. 
it just goes straight to the canonical, which is great for SEO in terms of the URL. However, you know, that just makes breadcrumbs useless, which is why Dawn and all the free themes don't have any breadcrumbs anymore. Because if you're going to have this, then you might as well just remove the breadcrumbs entirely. Like what's the point of having this, right? So now that you fully understand the problem, let's move on to the solution. What I've built here is a section that allows you to manually control your breadcrumbs for every single product and every single collection across your store. It's a totally normal section, just like the sections on the rest of your theme. And you can drag it around and add it anywhere. You can add it inside the template, or you can also add it inside the header if you want it to be across the whole site. Don't worry that this is out of line because you can actually adjust the paddings, you can adjust the max width according to your theme, okay? Now here we have some basic settings that control the appearance of it, but how you actually set up these parent collections for this product is through meta fields. If you haven't used meta fields before, you use them on the product page usually. So here's my product page for the gymnastics rings. And when we scroll down to the bottom, I have a meta field here, which asks which parent collections I want to add. And all I do is click this button, select collections and add them in the order that I want them to appear. So equipment is my more general collection and then it narrows down to calisthenics equipment. And that's all. Once I've added these two collections for this product, I save and this section will automatically display that. It's quite simple. It works the same way for collections as well. So if we move up to this collection, you'll see that I have home equipment, calisthenics equipment, and that's because I've also added the same types of meta fields to my collections as well. And here I have simply added the parent collection of this collection, which is something that you can't really do in Shopify, is it? Because in Shopify, we don't have sub collections, but we can still fake sub collections, can't we? We can still create this kind of structure and we still use a sort of a sub collection structure in our mega menus, for example, like we have shoes and then under shoes, we might have types of shoes, right? So it doesn't matter that Shopify doesn't actually have sub collections in the back end because we can organize the front end of our store to make it appear as though we have sub collections and to organize our store in this way. So obviously this is much more customer friendly. A customer can go up one collection level. They can go up two levels. And this is also what Google wants to see. It wants to see that this product belongs to this collection, this grouping of related products by subject. You understand? That's what helps Google understand your site. Also, I've made sure to include the correct structured data here. If you don't know what structured data is, it's a specific way to give information to Google for it to display this information in search results better. I've already made a video on structured data, so I recommend checking that out. I'll put the link somewhere, but you can rest assured that the correct structured data will automatically be generated when you use this. Now, if you're wondering what happens on products where you have not filled out the meta field, it simply reverts back to the default Shopify breadcrumb structure. When you're using the canonical URL, all that it can really know is that you're on this product page, that's it. But nothing really breaks, right? Nothing's going to be missing. You just go back to what Shopify offers you by default. So again, guys, this is my simple solution. Breadcrumbs that are powered by meta fields and controlled manually. Think that maybe in future, some themes are gonna come out with their own breadcrumb section that you control through meta fields. Or maybe Shopify will actually figure out a way to include breadcrumbs inside of their search and discovery app, which is the way that you set up filters currently. Well, maybe they're also going to add breadcrumbs here, but I don't know how long this might take them to do. It's just a guess, right? So this is my simple solution for now. I'm very open to feedback as with all my products. I build this stuff for you guys. I want it to be really useful. I update them. And if you've already bought the product, then you'll get any future updates for free. Now the rest of the video is just gonna be an installation guide for how to actually use this. Find the link in the description 
and please leave a comment here in the YouTube video if you have any questions about it. Now let's get started with the installation. Okay guys, now after purchasing the product, you're gonna be directed to an online Notion page like this where you can copy all of the code. So now you're gonna open up your themes code editor by clicking on the three dots here and clicking edit code. Here, you just wanna add one file into the sections folder. So find the sections folder in the sidebar here and click add a new section and call it ed underscore breadcrumbs.liquid. You don't have to type that part and you can name it after yourself as well or the name of your company. I just recommend having some kind of prefix here that lets you know that you added this code yourself so that you don't forget in future what the file was called in case you need to move it to another theme or to an updated version of this theme, right? So it stands out a little bit from the rest of the files on your page. There's gonna be some default code in here. Just clear that out and all of this code, you've copied it and pasted it in here. Save, and that's all you need to do with code. Everything is contained in this one file, so it's nice and simple. Now, here in your customizer, after refreshing, you should be able to add the section to your theme. If you can't find it here, just search for breadcrumbs, okay? And you can use it like any other section. Drag it anywhere you want. I've added it to the default product template, as you can see. If you want to add it to your collection template as well, then again, you'll have to go there and add the section, just like any other section, add it again to this template. Now, of course, you can also add the section to your header, which will add it across your entire store, but I think it won't look nice in the header on every theme. And anyway, Mostly, if you're doing this for SEO, you just want the breadcrumbs on the product pages mainly, and maybe on the collection pages. So me personally, I'm not gonna use it in the header. Now, a few tips to make this look nice, especially on Dawn and any of the free themes. If you've ever seen your site on a very large screen, on a large monitor, then it'll be inside of this container here. And it's usually around 1200 pixels or something like that. Now, I've added a field where you can set a max width in pixels, and you'll do this for most themes. You can just line it up by eye, and you can adjust the paddings as well. But on Dawn and the free themes, I can tell you exactly what to do. You just wanna use a class called page width, and that will actually contain it somewhat within this container, right? And then besides that, you also want to add 52 pixel paddings on the sides because that's exactly what these free themes are using. And then it'll be perfectly lined up with the rest of your site. Okay, so we've added the code and we've added the section to your theme. The last part is to assign parent collections to each one of your products. And you're gonna do that through the power of Metafields. If you've never used Metafields before, don't worry, this is really quite easy. Go to settings and then custom data. And first we're gonna go to products, add or define a new Metafield and just call it breadcrumbs. It's going to automatically generate a namespace and key of custom.breadcrumbs. It needs to stay this way because the code is using this namespace and key. If that's a problem for you because maybe you installed some breadcrumb app or something and it's using this exact namespace and key, then you can change this, but then you also need to change that in the code. Now here in the description, I recommend adding something that will remind you how to use it. For example, add parent collections in the order you want them to appear. Here we're going to select a type. It's going to be collection, and then it's gonna be a list of collections because you want multiple parent collections, right? Multiple levels and save. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing for collections. So add a definition, breadcrumbs. The type is also gonna be collection and also a list of collections. Oh, and I should have mentioned, you only need to do this for collections if you plan to use the breadcrumbs on collection pages as well, on your collection templates. If you only want breadcrumbs on your product pages, then you just need to do the product meta field. Now, when you visit your products, the usual way, scroll right down to the bottom of the product page and you will see this new meta field where you'll be able to select collections. 
Again, add parent collections in the order you want them to appear. So my main grandparent collection, I guess, would be equipment. And then the parent is calisthenics equipment. And that's all. Save. And as soon as I've refreshed this page, I will see that full breadcrumb here. Now, if you have many products, obviously it will take a long time to go into each product and update the meta fields. So you need a, a way to do it in bulk. There are multiple ways to do bulk editing in Shopify. And I have other videos talking about this, but the simplest one is simply to use the built-in bulk editor. It now supports meta fields. This wasn't the case before. Just deselect everything here, except for the meta field that you want to edit. So right here, we can see this, right? And we can copy that and paste it across other products that would have the same breadcrumb structure. If this has a slightly different breadcrumb structure, then let's say this one just has men's, then we're just going to copy paste that across these products. Another great way of bulk editing your products is using an app called Matrixify. This allows you to export a CSV containing your meta fields as columns and edit them in Excel and then re-import back into Shopify. And it's a very powerful app that allows you to do a lot of bulk edits. Another good one is Hextom Bulk Edit. And there's also Metafields Guru and other Metafield editing apps that can help you do bulk editing of Metafields. And that's all there is to it. If everything went well for you, you've got it set up and it's what you needed, then I would really appreciate if you can return back to this page and leave a review or just leave five stars. And also be sure to check out the other products I have available on my store, shop.ed.codes. That's all for today. Please leave a like and I'll see you in the next video.